Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming on here with wet hair because we are gonna be unboxing and trying out my new Dyson Airwrap. I have been thinking about this since the summer and I almost pulled the trigger back in the summer when I like couldn't get it out of my mind but for some reason I just kept putting it off and putting it off and I, I just couldn't resist anymore so I pulled the trigger on it. This is going to be an unboxing first impressions video. I've actually never tried the Dyson Airwrap before. I don't have any friends or family that have the Dyson Airwrap so this is literally going to be my first time ever using it. So. Don't think of this video as like a tutorial or as like an expert Dyson Airwrap user. This is truly just gonna be like my first impressions of using the Dyson Airwrap, but I've seen so many videos. I've watched multiple tutorials just trying to prepare myself to use this Dyson Airwrap. And what I've gathered from the other videos is that it is like a styling tool unlike any other. And so what I've heard from other people in their videos too is that it takes some time to get used to it. So I'm really, really excited. I'm sure you'll see the Dyson used in more videos and I'll probably do like an actual tutorial eventually. But for now, we are gonna just unbox it and try it out and see how it works. Okay, so I ordered mine off of Sephora and they didn't have any in stock, so I got mine shipped, but it came within like three or four days. This is the box. If you guys have not felt the air wrap box before it is surprisingly so heavy and i was really really shocked by how heavy this thing was so this is the updated dyson air wrap and i'm actually really glad that i got this one and like waited because i've heard that this one is actually better than the previous model just because the previous model you had to like switch out the barrel every single time you wanted to change direction of the curl. So this one, you should be able to just like turn the knob and it should switch the airflow. All right, so this is our beautiful, beautiful Dyson air wrap case. And it's like this really beautiful, like soft touch kind of navy blue. And inside of here, we can pop the lid off. This is really soft velvet interior. And then it says, scan to unlock your exclusive benefits. I don't even know what that means. The pamphlet on top says, welcome to your air wrap styler. Scan the QR code to watch the startup video or register your product. So there's that. And then underneath that, we've got the actual air wrap. So this is how everything is packaged. We've got the actual styling tool. So I guess, I guess you don't keep these. Do you keep these? I'm going to hold on to them. You guys let me know down in the comments if you're supposed to keep that. I don't think you are. It's just cardboard. So this is the styling tool that you attach all of the styling attachments to. And then it's actually a really bulky plug. So this is the plug for it. And then this is like an attachment that's part of the cord. And then what's in this tiny box? What is this? Is this a... This might be like a brush cleaner. I don't honestly know what this is. Also have a pamphlet, which might actually be nice because this is not the most intuitive tool from what I've gathered. This is the dryer and smoothing tool, I believe. So this is for drying the hair by the roots. And it should just attach. And then underneath that, we've got the two paddle brushes and the other wand attachments so paddle brush this is a, another brush and then underneath that we've got other styling pieces it's actually really well packaged in here so this is the I almost threw that away i think there's something else in there i think this is the long one and then there should be a shorter one as well Let's see, go ahead and pull them all out. So honestly, I can't tell if you're supposed to leave the dividers in because they're made out of cardboard. So they don't feel like they're supposed to stay in there. But when I think about how I would repack this when I'm not using it, I would want some sort of like dividers in here instead of just like tossing it all in. So 
I don't, I don't think you're supposed to hold on to these things, but I'm almost like it just fits too perfectly to where I'm like, am I supposed to throw that away? I'll have to look that up. Anyway, the box is really, really nice. You can keep it out on your counter. You could also store it in a drawer if you really just don't want this bulky box on your counter. It is a really nice box. It's really beautiful, but it's just kind of up to you if you want it sitting out. As far as all of the attachments go, we've got two brush attachments. They honestly kind of seem similar. So I'm really interested to see how these are different as I use them. And then we've got the round brush, which I've seen people use for blowouts and then also for doing their bangs to make them more full. And then we've got two of the styling attachments. So we've got the wider one and the more narrow barrel. And these are both the long version. So I got the Dyson long one because my hair I would say is like medium to long and I'm actually growing it out more so by the time that it's grown out, I'll want the long one. So these are the two attachments though. This is the updated barrel where you can flip the direction of the airflow. So you just turn it to direct the airflow to the other side. Both work the same way. And then, like I said, this is the smoothing and blow drying attachment. We're gonna hook it up and see how it works. I'm so excited. Okay, so I've got it plugged in and I'm gonna start, I guess, by applying product. I watched a lot of reviews and everyone said to apply some sort of styling foam or styling balm just to hold the curls and the volume. So I'm just gonna use this. This is a Nexus product. It's the Smooth and Full Blow Dry Balm. And I actually have color treated hair. So my hair holds curls really well. So that was one thing that when I asked y'all on Instagram, like, do you have a Dyson Airwrap? Do you love it? The only people who said that they didn't like it were people who have extremely fine hair and had a hard time with their hair holding a curl with it. So I don't know if that is their hair type or if the Dyson truly is not as effective as a curling iron as far as like holding a curl. But I know that like if you have really, really fine hair and you aren't using any type of product or anything like that, you're gonna have a hard time holding curl regardless, even with a curling iron. So I'm actually feeling fairly confident that my hair will hold the styling of this tool. You don't really know until you try. So my hair, I would say, is like 70% of the way dry. I took shower, I did my makeup. Typically on like a normal morning, I would eat breakfast before and then like style my hair. But since it is the afternoon, I really, really wanted to try this like right now, I decided to not shower in the morning. So it's technically the afternoon right now, but in the reviews that I watched, People said that you want your hair to be like basically dry before you go in with the curling styling wand. So I'm gonna use the, I guess I'm gonna use this attachment and just see how this works because I've honestly never used anything like this before. So I'm gonna use this. I saw people use this to blow dry their hair and then maybe I'll like smooth it out with one of the brush attachments. But this might just be a video of me trying out every single attachment, so. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this attachment. All you do is you line it up here in the back and you just click it into place. There is a lock and unlock button here. And to remove it, you just push this button down and you can remove your attachment. So that is how you connect it. And then this is what the front of the air wrap looks like. So you've got three different controls. This one is for your fan speed or how powerful you want your air wrap to be. This is for your heat settings. So you have low heat, high heat, and then cool. And then this is your on and off switch, but it also is your cooling dial. So when you want to lock in your style with cold air, you just push the power button up and you have to hold it up for as long as you need to cool the hair before you release the curl. But that's an easy way to do it instead of having to keep switching between hot and cold heat over here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just turn it on. Right now, I've got it on high heat and high fan setting. Okay. 
Okay, so I would say now we're at like 85 to 90% of the way dry and the dryer is so fast. Like it's actually so powerful. I was wondering, cause it's just this slot here that the air comes through, but it is like, it's pretty dang powerful. So one thing that I was kind of adjusting you guys saw up here, there is a dial to switch it off of the front drying, which is what I use to dry my hair and for the smoothing tool. So this is supposed to be used up by your roots to smooth down any sort of like flyaways that you might have kind of up at the crown of your head. So I'm going to flip it to one of these settings and try to kind of like smooth out the top of my hair. I don't get a ton of like frizz up there, but this should be really, really helpful if you have frizzy hair. So you just turn it like this and it turns all the way around and then it locks into place like that. As you guys just saw, this was with the smoothing attachment and this is without it. So I actually did just like smooth that out really, really nicely. I'm so excited to play around with this more. I feel like I'm not, you know, doing this 100% justice since I am trying it out for the literal first time, but that was so cool. Like, did you guys see the way that my hair like formed to the air wrap? so cool okay i'm loving this i'm going to i guess smooth this side i don't know if you need to smooth it first let me try the paddle brush on this side so we'll have the smooth side here and we'll do paddle brush on this side and just compare and then we'll get into curling all right so looking at the dyson site it says that this one is the soft smoothing brush shape fine hair with increased control for straight styles. And then the other one is the firm smoothing brush, smooth frizz prone hair using firm bristles for straighter styles and enhanced airflow. That is the difference. I guess, do I use soft or firm? Does it really matter? Mm, I'm gonna try soft. Attach it. I think she's locked in. I wish I like clicked in, but mine doesn't like make like a clicking sound. So this is with the smoothing brush and I kind of feel like the smoothing brush smoothed everything out. And I honestly kind of started to do like a little flip under and I need to play around with that more. But I do feel like the brush got all of the different layers kind of smoothed. Whereas the, this attachment here, it was still warm, wow. That attachment, I feel like only really smoothed the top. So maybe this is what you would use if you just wanted to do kind of like flyaways and stuff around here. And then the actual smoothing brush, I feel like is great if you want an all over smoothing look. But now I'm gonna do the actual curling attachments, which I'm obviously the most excited about because I feel like that is what I've seen so many people use on Instagram and on YouTube. So I'm gonna section my hair off and start with this bottom section. I'm so excited. I've like waited for this moment for so long. We're just gonna do the bigger barrel and then as I play around with it more, I'll try the other one. So this is the barrel and I think it means that if it's pointing this way, I think that means that we're gonna be styling this side. It's gonna go that way. Let's just see what happens. Guys, guys, guys. Are you seeing that? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited. 
this might actually work. Well, it better work. It's so expensive, but I mean like, I don't know. I had, I had my fears. Okay, so it looks like you have to do small sections. If you have really, really thick hair, this might be kind of annoying, but it's like magic. It feels like literally like a magic trick. So turn it on, let it catch. I don't know why I doubt it catching every time. This is so crazy. Cool setting. Let it cool down a little bit. And pull it through. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead, finish up this side quickly. So you guys don't have to watch me like geek out every single time. And then we'll go and switch the direction for this side. That, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna let those just chill. So, I cannot tell you guys, I'm so excited. And also, this is actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. So if you're intimidated by this, I wouldn't be. It really is like pretty easy. So I'm gonna switch the setting now to this side and we're gonna keep going. So definitely the amount of hair that you use or that you put in the air wrap matters. You don't want to put too much in there or it can't like wrap it all. So I feel like finding that sweet spot of like how much can you put in there to be efficient, but also it can actually grab all the hair. Okay, so far. Are you kidding me? That's so bouncy and beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to, I guess maybe spray it. Should I spray it? I probably should spray it. Okay. I'm just gonna spray some hairspray on it before I like brush anything out. Don't want to lose the curl. So we're gonna just let it completely cool with the hairspray and I'm gonna actually, oh, that looks so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put it up in a little silk scrunchie, very loosely, kind of tie it back so that I can do the rest of my hair. I am so pumped, y'all, you don't even know. I was really worried that this was just not gonna work and I was gonna have wasted all that money. Okay, so flipping it back to the other side. do this part in the round brush but I'm gonna let this all just chill for a bit that is crazy though I'm gonna go over and do this side now She's a little curly, but I'm gonna just go ahead and tuck these behind my ear to grab the other attachment to do this part. Now I'm gonna use this round brush attachment to take care of this and just pop it on. I'm gonna turn the fan setting down. We'll round brush them up. Maybe I was supposed to set my bangs too. That's that's not it. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that's not right. 
Okay, wait, let's try this again. And then cool it and then turn it off. I've actually seen some people who will detach the roller brush from the Dyson and like clip it in so that it stays to set it, but we're not that committed yet, so. Pull it out. Oh my goodness gracious, that is so voluminous. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm gonna, wow. Guys, I've conquered the Dyson Airwrap. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of oil in my hair, just like very lightly. This is something that my hairdresser suggested to me. It's like a serum and it's supposed to just kind of nourish your hair. You can use it before you style or after, but I'm just gonna run my fingers through my hair. And oh my goodness gracious, y'all. Are y'all seeing this right now? This is crazy. She is bouncy and full. And my bangs are just like so voluminous. Wow. This is actually so incredible. First time too. I'm like, I can't wait to get better at it and learn like new techniques for it. But that's what it looks like. Pretty, right? I think it looks so good. That is so gorgeous, like so pretty. I cannot believe this is done by air. I love it so much. The perfect blowout. Cannot believe that worked as well as it did first time trying it. Cause I feel like I watched so many tutorials and it honestly made me really nervous to use it because everyone made it sound like it was a really complicated device, but I feel like it was actually pretty self-explanatory. I am so excited though to like master it and play around with it some more. I really, really love it. The only thing I feel like I could do better is my bangs. So I need to like figure out how to get those to stay a little bit more. But I also don't love the bangs that like swoop out really far. So I feel like they honestly are kind of like landing in a good place. So it's like curly, but not too curly. If you know what I mean? I've seen some Dyson hairstyles that are like super, super curly and I was worried about it being too ringlety, but I feel like it's just voluminous and bouncy and fun, and I love it so much. But that is my unboxing and first impressions of the Dyson Airwrap. I am so happy with the results, guys. I truly was so nervous about this, and I feel like it turned out better than I could have expected. So if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried the Dyson Airwrap or if you're interested in it or you're interested in any more like actual tutorials and stuff like that. I definitely want to like come back on here and walk you guys through it once I am like 100% confident in what I'm doing. But I hope you enjoyed my first impressions of it. Clearly I was blown away by the results and just how easy and really fun it is to use. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. I would love to have you back on my channel for some more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. Thank you.